Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the High Velocity Wave Trader Room for Friday, May 15th. This room is meant for educational purposes. We will talk about hypothetical, simulated, in some cases, real results. I highly recommend you demo trade this approach for a period of time until you have a really good, solid understanding. How's everybody doing this morning? Last trading day of the week. Let's, uh, let's see if we have time. We've got eight minutes before the open. I'm going to do a really quick DAX recap on just the, the first few trades that we saw this morning. Let's get into that really quickly. 2 a.m. was pretty straightforward. Three trader in 10 sequence to the downside. It went about 9.5, and this is a pretty quick move. Uh, it's over in about nine seconds, so that would be your, your trade. You're looking for 7.5, and yes, there would be some slippage on that, so that would be the challenge on that trade. Trade number two was a virtual snap out, put you into chop mode, and then ver, uh, trade, num trade setup number three was uh, the, the best of the three setups. And that would have you POQ on the session for today. Let's get over. How much time do we have? We've got five minutes to set up the uh, pre-market pivots and look at the um, – as always, let me just encourage anybody new in the room to um, ask questions, get those into the text. When I have a chance, after things settle down, I do look at those, and I'll get you, get you answered up. <clears throat> Bill's asking, uh, in active mode, do the three trader attempts have to occur within eight bars like we do on a trend trade? No, they don't. Good question, Bill. It's a great question. They can occur at any point, and your risk from that point of setup is 22 ticks. So that's a great point. Great question, I should say. All right, here we go. Price interacting with this same, look at that. Isn't that amazing? One, two, three, four, five times. This time it poked up one more tick, if I've got the line right there, and boom, it's resisting. So definitely want to give this some respect. Let's see what we get here. We've got about a minute, 15 seconds to go. <laughs> There's a... Uh, Again, it's just having a hard time getting up through here. Bounce, I mean, it just bounces right off. This time it broke up a couple ticks. So we'll move this line up to 12, 25, 8. Got about 45 seconds. And the market rolling over towards this lower pivot level. So let's see if that comes into play. 30 seconds. Bruce asking, are we looking at chop? No, we're not. But we are looking for a breakout. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit picky on these setups. Here we go. Three trader intent sequence to the upside. That's a go for long on this pullback. You should be in, as it did break this upper level that we were looking at. So lots of slippage there, I get it. But that's the trade you should be in. From that break, your 18 ticks in your favor. And more, 5-bar stop on that trade is now 12, 26, 3. That was a quick one, I get it. Be interested to know if anybody got that one. I mean, it happened literally in 4 seconds, in 5 seconds in. That trade is still the trade that is on the long from that original setup. I'm marking this from where we could get in at, where that break was that we were looking for. We can now take a three trader in 10 sequence to the downside. This is a pretty powerful move up 4.3 from that adjusted entry above this pivot here. The setup was actually back here. Five bar stop will continue to ratchet up on this long possible short coming up here. Three trader in 10 sequence to the downside will be a go for a short. We've got a two count and now reset. You had a two count for a moment, but that gets reset. And uh, we're about a minute, 20 seconds in. Still can take a short three trader in 10 sequence. That's a go for a short. Work around this pivot at 29.3. Now in, second trade of the session. There was your setup. I was waiting for a break of this pivot. You should be out of your fixed target on that. Actually, 11 ticks looks like from the adjusted entry. Yeah, it should hit the 12 tick target. You should have hit your 12 tick target even with that adjusted entry, and now it's moving down further. 15 ticks, should be out of your fixed position, 5-bar stop, 29-6 and out.